Today I'm going to show how to, uh, first of all, identify how big a dent is on, on a panel here, and uh, also uh, show how to shrink a dent, also how, how to pull a dent, and a couple of easy tricks on how to identify it. First of all, I'm going to use some guide code. This is a metal file. And what this does is going to show me where the dent is, how far the dent carries past the, the contact point. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than it looks. Most guys aren't going to have a metal file, so you can take a sanding block and some coarse paper. You can do the same thing. It's going to highlight your trouble area. At the same time, I put a couple dents from the backside out to show you how to shrink a panel. Same thing on the steps there. You can see the highs. We're going to start out by actually shrinking the two highs down. A good baseline number for this machine is six for shrinking. And then obviously, depending on how thick the sheet metal is, uh, you can you know, go up and down from there. So, is this thing on? shrink the, the uh, contact point, I'm going to tap around and then smack the center and then instantly cool it with air. Now you can do this with water or air, either way. After that first hit, it feels like it needs a little more heat. I'm not used to this machine yet. Supporting the back side. This is a Cadillac. I'm about burn through this thing. What's that? Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold It'll turn off It'll on its own. Yeah, I did. It's been. I've been doing that. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, that's why I keep turning it up. It's it's timer. It's a little quick. So. See, that seems fast. done your initial you can come back and check yourself with this guide code trick even with the highs I can really kind of highlight and show you guys how big the, the out end is or isn't we'll just use the sanding box actually that's pretty good I mean if you got a slight low there not a ton. If you can get to the back side, you can tap it with a, with a hammer and raise it back up a little bit. Um, or you could use a puller and actually pull the thing back out. That's actually fairly shallow. I mean, that's within tolerance for using filler. So. 
Alright, now we're going to pull these. 